Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, as you can tell by the background footage, we're talking about and going over Calervo and how he generally works, what's wrong with him, what works well with him. Just a general review overview. We're going to look at his build and his abilities, so yeah, sit tight. First, we'll just chat about Calervo for a bit, and then we'll go over more specifically abilities than build. So Calervo is the new Inaros slash Nightist Warframe in the fact that he has no shield gating because he only has health and overguard. Fun thing about overguard, it is essentially a no resistances health and it's a worse version of shield as there's no sort of invincibility when you lose your overguard. So that is currently Calervo's number one issue. He is a Warframe that can't shield gate that can pretty easily die at high level content. So far, he's great, really strong, amazing at non-steel path and like lower level content, of course, right? But once you get up to that like steel path and the higher level content, his builds and uh, the, just the way his frame meshes because of overguard makes him very squishy. So that's currently his number one issue. But if you're doing non-steel path, you can probably build him pretty easily and be good to go. But how are you gonna build him tankiness for steel path? Probably health, armor, maybe arcane grace, adaptation, could even do rolling guard, but I mean, since he has to survive using health, probably a better idea to do adaptation, but even then it's not ideal because it doesn't apply to overguard and you still just take so much damage. Ugh. It's an imperfect solution, but hey, it is what it is. His abilities overall are cool. Fourth one's just AoE slash damage attack, so... That's pretty nice. One is amazing melee teleport, and then also a crit damage increase. His second ability is uh, his overguard and healing ability, and it's good for that. The damage isn't anything super high on it, but it heals him, and it gives him overguard. Okay, and the third ability is actually what I assume his kit wants you to kind of... Uh, chain with his third and first and fourth ability all together right that's where the damage is really at because his third ability links all the enemies together and they have shared damage so you hit the one enemy and it shares damage to all the other ones meaning you can kill one enemy with a lot of damage and kill all the other enemies around them so that's currently what's going on i'm just leveling and messing around up with uh clairvo but we'll have to see how it goes later on i don't know if i'm gonna throw too many forma onto him because he's just not my type of warframe so the shield gating issue is big and i've seen everyone and their mother kind of talk about it and be like yeah it sucks but you know it is what it is they should have given him a better mechanic than overguard because he just dies or at least like come on with overguard make it make sense with damage reduction or adaptation so we can use one or the other right just a flat damage reduction ability or adaptation make it work with that i'm hate i hate that warframe keeps giving us like over shields and things to buff up but it doesn't really matter too much like having a high shield amount doesn't matter as much as being able to restore your shield right it's like high, warframe keeps giving us things with high numbers because overguard can hit 5000 but it goes in a second if you're doing steel path so i don't know it's a little triggering i don't mind a ton it just looks like calervo's not one of those frames that meant for higher steel path content or single player steel path will be a little harder as well but he is okay to play when you're doing Steel Path with a group because not everyone's focusing on you. So obviously it'll, it's a lot easier, right? And movement helps a lot more then, but he's not the best uh, to play solo Steel Path. And you do have to build tanky, which kind of sucks because that takes mod slots up. So build tanky, use arcanes, right? But it still takes things away from when you could do damage. So that's why it's kind of a glass cannon melee frame. Let's take a look at his abilities and judge them how you will. They read very well. His passive is actually pretty sweet. Calervo boasts plus 75% heavy attack efficiency, 100% heavy attack windup speed on all melee weapons. So yeah, you can't fully read that, but that's fine. That's his passive, right? His first one is a teleport. And it also, if you tap it, is a melee attack, heavy melee attack, with a buffed increase crit chance buff, like afterwards. So you use it, and then you get an insane amount of melee crit chance afterwards as a buff. 
kind of makes you think like, oh yeah, no, he's definitely a melee glass cannon type Warframe. His second ability, while it has decent enough range, doesn't have a ton of range, slash damage to enemies, heals you and, you know, gives health drain. So overall good gives you overguard and your overguard caps at 5,000 without it overgoing higher, right? In theory, you read this and you're like, holy shit, that's really good. In actuality, it's like, it's a pretty good heal and Overguard instantly goes away if you're fighting higher level enemies. But hey, Recompense, great for mid lower level content. It's just, again, Steel Path and higher Steel Path kind of sucks with Overguard, but hey, it is what it is. Collective Curse, these aren't max level, so I'm not looking at the full numbers yet. An amazing damage redirection ability where it hits at an angle, so it can be kind of annoying, but shoot enemies in front of you with this like ability, groups them together for damage redirection, Kill one, they all get hit, and they all die. It's great. That's the idea, right? In theory, pretty good. Can be kind of weird on how it works, and it doesn't feel amazing, but I'll have to mess around with it more, so wait and see later. And then Storm of Ukko, one of his stronger abilities as well. It's just AoE slash with a decent enough duration, but I don't have it maxed rank yet, so whatever. Storm of Ukko, AoE slash, good damage, so can't be mad at that. If anything, if you want to take some abilities away... His second might be worth taking away, lol. His, I don't know, fourth maybe if you don't want to do something like that, but yeah, I don't know. He has a weird kit. If you don't feel like meleeing, I guess take his first away, but that's a lot of melee crit chance, so I'm kind of curious what people are planning to helminth on him. If you're helminthing on straight damage reduction or some sort of survivability, or if you're just helminthing on straight damage. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious, but again, with Recompense, he's good lower level content and non-steel path, but once you start getting up to the areas where you can get hit really high, and you need to either take advantage of shield gating or hardcore damage reduction, it gets a little messy, right? But that's Calervo. That's Calervo. Let's take a look at my build now, and you can, you know, say that's pretty bad as well because what I'm going for is just tankiness uh, tankiness with adaptation on uh, and armor on the health we have arcane energize you could 100% throw on arcane grace to also heal him up it's not a bad idea I'm just using my second ability for now while again this build is a little weak and could be way better for steel path solo it works well enough for non steel path as well as like grouped up steel path but man i don't fully know how i feel like building him i just think i'm gonna build calervo honestly with no negatives like i don't want to get any negative efficiency range duration or strength i think i'm just gonna make him a really boring tanky build like this and throw on boring stuff like stretch Prime Continuity, Streamline, and something else like, hey, maybe I'll throw on Prime Flow as the last thing, right? I think I'm going to make him a really boring build with Corrosive Projection there, and maybe give him some more range on his last Exilus mod slot there. Molt Augmented is there, so his range increases a lot, which really helps after we get some kills. But Arcane Energize is there for energy. I don't know how to feel about him. I just feel kind of bad because of his lack of shield gating and how bad Overguard feels when playing Steel Path. But I think he'll do okay. And he does have a place in the game very easily, right? So that's what I've been going around with Clairvo doing. I've been leveling, and when I've been leveling and playing around non-steel path, right, I've just been shredding, right? His damage is good. It's really insane when you get some melee up, right? So that's why it's just hardcore glass cannon. I know I've been, like, repping on how bad and how much I hate Overguard, because, like, it really feels bad for me. But his damage is really, really good, okay? You have sweet heavy attack efficiency, heavy attack windup, all right? That's cool and all. So they want you to be a little heavy attack with him because of his first ability. It's a heavy attack teleport helminth ability, right? It's the one that goes in the helminth. And it gives you an insanely high critical strike chance buff. So red crits galore on that melee, build up a good combo amount. And oh my God, combo, your high combo amount with your third ability and your first ability and you're just killing everything right one go huge glass cannon capabilities in that regard his fourth just throw it down and it's an area that just murders all the enemies and cuts them up good so while he is really strong i just can't get over the fact that overguard like recompense the overguard on it just makes me feel bad so i really want warframe to just apply damage reduction to overguard or i guess make it more like a shield gate with a sort of invincibility frame because you can go from 5k overguard health 
and like 2k regular health if you don't have like proper defenses or tank ability, you can go for having 7k, 5k overguard, 2k health to just nothing if you're doing seal path because there's nothing to stop the damage without damage reduction. So you need damage reduction and that, that only takes effect when you hit health. So then you need more health and more armor so it can build up a little bit more, right? So I don't like how that works. You might want to do some shenanigans. I don't think quick thinking's the way to go. People are talking about that. I don't think old quick thinking's the way to go with almost anything these days. I've never been a fan of quick thinking, especially with how it works now or anything like that. So I don't like quick thinking. I tried it out, wanted to see, and uh, it's not going to go well unless you have probably like streamline as well. So you're just putting so many resources into this frame to make him tanky so he doesn't die if you're doing like solo steel path, but yeah, there's a lot of things and a lot of shenanigans you can do. So if you really love them, you'll find a way with the helmet for sure. Okay, turn on that uh, damage reduction, damage redirection, damage stoppage, something you can do, right? In a team, you're going to get sweet buffs with your teammates and the damage is all spread. So you'll have no problem, right? The buffs and the damage spread helps a lot, but... Maybe he's just not the best solo Warframe. Just wait for someone to put out a solo level 9999 Steel Path build to play it if you want. But yeah, in that regard, he's a great frame. He's fun and he's awesome. Just probably not a solo Steel Path frame for someone like me who just wants to build a frame and play him. But other than that, he's pretty cool. I would just make him tanky as hell. And he might be worth throwing a couple Umbral uh, mods on. So give him that Umbral Fiber Vitality and then Umbral Intensify, which I might do if I throw Umbral mods on them just for lulls yeah if you do that you might be a lot stronger and pretty goddamn cool but i'm just casually playing around with him because uh overguard's a little triggering to me apparently and just seeing what works and what i like with him so well we'll see we'll see if i play him more play him less but i think he's probably like a standard cool frame has great abilities if you're doing some stuff and awful useless dog abilities if you're doing other stuff so yeah cool glass cannon warframe I just wish he was tankier, because I don't like how Warframe handles damage. I guess a lot of us probably haven't liked how Warframe handles damage in a while, right? Which is like, invulnerability, stay invincible, have a ton of damage reduction, don't care about health, apply uh, shield gates and have low amounts of shield. It's just, the Warframe meta for late game type survival, solo steel path, uh, shield gating and invulnerability survivability, it's just a little goofy. And yeah, but that's okay. Warframe's still pretty fun, so. Yeah, Clairvo, that's him. Judge it how you will. I know this is a pretty critical review, but I still think he's pretty cool. I gotta play him more though. It's been a really long day streaming for like seven, eight hours and I recorded like three, four, five videos as well as like re-recorded some ad stuff. So I'm really tired. It's Final Fantasy 16 time soon, everyone. I can't wait. I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch. I'm gonna be making YouTube videos. I appreciate everyone who ever watches and comes by. Appreciate it from your boy, Pupsker, you know. Follow all the socials at the games creator code Pupsker, but yeah, I'm dead tired, so I'm gonna finish making this video and then go pre-download Final Fantasy 16 and then get the fuck to bed. Cheers.